Hey guys, he what clients here? Got my script. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, before I get started, I wanted to let you know that I am now doing my best to be completely to obey YouTube's current COPPA based guidelines. Mm -hmm. There's no animation in this video other than how I act, how I'll act. Mm -hmm. There are no video games in this video, but I'm still gonna talk about them. Mm -hmm. There's no popular music in this video other than my awesome sounding voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And nothing bright and colorful, except for me. <clears throat> now, let's get started. Mm. Get the script already. All right. I'm going to script. Now I'm on script. I got to draw that girl. I got to draw her. I'm going to draw her. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm drawing. I'm going to draw this girl. I'm going to make a moving character out of Brittany Wong. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, my version of Brittany Wong from my story, Star vs. the Force of the Evil on DeviantArt. <laughs> uh, we figure some take. I figure some stuff out with that girl. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's going to be Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yes. Here's my video, my script. I'm a script. Yeah. This guy, you know, this thing is an old, you know, five star notebook, you know, that my aunt had, my roommate aunt had in a shed for a few years, mm -hmm. all right? You know, probably one of these guys would probably, yeah, if I got one of these guys new, mm -hmm. it probably would cost like 10 bucks. Look at that. It has little places for folders, you know, little pieces of plastic and stuff in there for, you know, pockets and stuff. You know, look at that. You can put all kinds of stuff in there, you know? That's really cool. Probably would have cost 10 bucks for one of these new. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad I got one of these super old for free. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but yeah, it's going to be a little bit stained up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There were mice in there, but uh, still, <laughs> there were some mice in there. <laughs> and there was that rainstorm I got caught in. You know, this thing got a little bit soaked, but and we dried it. But still, it's worth it. You know, that's good stuff. But yeah, here we go. Back to the script. Back to what we're going to talk about here. Let's see here. Uh, I originally named this thing How to Fix Into a Kappa on YouTube. And then I changed the name to How Not to Obey Kappa Without Destroying YouTube. <laughs> because this could just, yeah, if we stay right here with the current system we have, that it could destroy YouTube. Let's continue on here. Is, okay, I intro, do my intro again. Mm. Hey guys, you're welcome here. I recently realized that I have forgotten to do something very important in my last video, so I'm glad to do it right now. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. Lord, mm. I come to you today with a serious issue. YouTube and the FCC are trying to use the COPPA law to punish creators because of what YouTube and Google did. Mm. Yes, I do want to see YouTube YouTubers who are intentionally trying to harm people, including children, get punished because they deserve it. But us YouTubers who are not trying to hurt anyone do not need to be punished. We need to be allowed to make the videos we want to make as long as it is within fair YouTube guidelines. Please help the FTC, FTC to understand that not all animation is for kids, and all video games are for kids, not all bright colors are for kids, and not all music is for kids, and not all movies are for kids, and not all slang is for kids, and that not all things that are trying to kill gather information or harm mm, on your information or harm not all things are trying to gather information or harm kids in any way help us learn how to work together with the ftc youtube and each other to make things better if all this fighting against each other will do is destroy everything we've worked hard to be work to build i look forward to seeing how you will help resolve things in jesus name amen right. now that that's out of the way let's look at some of the, my ideas on how, how to fix things to cover on youtube First of all, I do like this new system that YouTube has put in place where you have to pick whether, yeah, also I got a haircut, yeah, that's <laughs> good, yes, yes, uh, you know, that lining up is kind of painful, but yeah, thankfully, after they spray the alcohol on, you know, and that, that, that the pain from the alcohol goes, you know, goes away, it's, it's all good, it looks really good, yeah, yeah, thank you very much, let's go, you know, uh, you do have put in place where you have to pick whether your video is made for kids, <clears throat> or not made for kids. <clears throat> no, I don't like it because the language they use is good. It isn't. I like that it exists so I can be so it can be improved. And here's how. Let me first get up back up a little bit. Make sure there's no cats over there. Okay, there we go. Back up a little bit. There you go. Uh, here's how. Instead of only two options, give us three. Right now, we can only mark our videos and channels either for kids or not for kids. What about all those channels that have content that is family friendly, but also have more mature themes as well? This is why I propose a three-level rating system. First, we will have E for everyone, then T for teen, and M for mature. Just like with video games, 
that each rating will have three criteria, violence, language, and sexually suggestive content. On E-rated video games, there will be only cartoon-style violence, like a cartoon character getting squashed by an anvil and then popping back into his or her original shape and continuing on with their day. Dangerous things happen, but the results are not realistic. Rated T videos will be like Power Rangers or Street Fighter. The violence is more realistic, but there is not much blood or gore. Martial arts videos will all be in this category too, because they show more realistic ways of hurting people. Okay, I'm gonna work on that stuff. Hurting people, but it's not full force as often. M rated videos, on the other hand, would be the worst of the worst. Blood and gore would abound. Mm, think Mortal Kombat's fatalities. The old YouTube guidelines could come into play here. Things that violate them will be. will still be banned. Mm. But if you simply must have your bloody finishers, then there's some wiggle room. Next is, of course, language. An E-rated video will have a little to no real cuss words. Cardinal cussing does not count, but only if it doesn't sound like actual cuss words. T-rated videos will only have minor cuss words. The D word, and maybe an S word, but no F words, or just one like PG-13 movies have. M-rated video, rated videos will be ones with multiple cuss words. Yeah, multiple cuss words in them, from major to minor one, minor to major ones. Think Angry Joe or Jim Sterling. Mm -hmm. And last but certainly not least is sexually suggestive content. This one is tougher than the others because sex is not a bad thing when it is in the right context. But it is not kids' stuff. So an E-rated game, in E-rated games, well, and videos, sexually suggestive content will consist of of light. Of slightly lowered or cut or higher cut outfits. One character walks past another character, and that character blushes and or has hearts floating around their head. In fact, anything involving cartoon hearts would be counted as long as nothing else happens. Maybe a kiss or two, but that's about it. For more, we would have the t a T rating video. This one would have more affection than an E rated one. And also some more suggestive themes. And there's sets of clothing, like skin tight superhero outfits and swimwear. Swimwear. Uh, talk of dates and relationships also can go here unless they are talking about sex acts. That's where the M-rated videos come in. And so do YouTube's old rules. YouTube is not a porn. YouTube is not a porn site. Remember that? Mm -hmm. That still can't. That still would apply, and that would knock out actual porn. But there's still really a wiggle room. I like the word wiggle room. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I do. I like the words wiggle room. So yeah, I use that a lot. There are some Planet Dolan vids where they talk about how they were caught during sexual acts by themselves and with other people. And even though they didn't show any private parts, that still counts. And then there's a video that was originally made for Newgrounds, and that was uploaded to YouTube, and it was all good according to the old guidelines. It's called Jerry, and in it, our little our title character has sex with two different women. And while their lo lower halves were covered up, you could clearly understand what was going on. Jerry's position on the bed and what he, what he, how he was moving while in that position were clear indicators of sexual activity. And that is only half <laughs> an activity that's only fit for the M rating. And speaking of new grounds, this is a good time to talk about another huge <laughs> problem with the new system. The choice of whether your video and or channel is for kids mm, or not for kids mm, can cause different problems depending on what you pick. Say you choose the option that says your channel is made for kids, made for kids. Mm, you gotta remember to quote that because that's what it says. Uh, you know, for kids, made for kids, or not for kids. Wait, 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 where is it? Made for kids. Well, now you can't get comments. Do live streams or even try, even notify people that your video is coming out. Mm -mm. That is basically punishing people who make kids' videos. Mm -mm. Uh, and that is not okay. There are people who are making amazing videos for kids and they should be praised for it, not punished. Along, these were not punished. Uh, along with the losers, they're not punished, along with the losers who are trying to do harm to kids. And then there are the issues with saying that your video is not made for kids. Yes, I mean, all normal YouTube features are there, but if you have anything attractive to children in your video, you could get fined up to $42,000 per video. And what the FTC says is attractive to children, and YouTube says attractive to children, is ridiculous. Things like popular music, things that are bright and colorful, mm. And animation, mm, that last one, is a real problem because not all animated things are for children. Mm, mm. Let me give you three examples 
of how that also show how my system works and this current one fails. They are the classic Looney Tune show, Batman the animated series, and the classic anime Fist of the North Star. According to the current system, all of these animated series are attractive to children, <clears throat> but not all of them are for children. <clears throat> Let's see what I'm referring to. My system can explain why. First is the classic Looney Tunes show. Videos of the show would get an E rating. Get an E rating. Violence in the show is cartoony. People can get hit with anvils, blown up by dynamite, or fall hundreds of feet and hit the ground hard and be fine in the next E. It's not realistic at all. Coarse language is limited to cartoon cuss words and mean names that are not violent. Sexual or involve actual cuss words in any way. And sexually suggestive content is limited to swimsuits, evening wear, and other clothes that cover all, cover all private parts. And affection is limited to hand-holding, hugs, and light kissing. Attraction is shown in cartoony ways. Blushing, cartoon hearts, and defying gravity and other physics, and other physics, a.k.a. turning into a wolf to whistle or transforming into an imitation of a popular star, you know, a popular star to say their catchphrase. Mm, yeah, that was a uh, Minerva Me. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The first, it was like uh, Minerva Me on, on Animaniacs is one of the hottest characters, in my opinion, ever. And basically, one of the things she did, one of the things that happened was this dude, nerdy wolf dude, nerdy, yeah, I think it was a nerdy wolf or nerdy me. I don't know exactly. I think it was a wolf, but whatever. Nerdy dude uh, basically saw her and saw how hot she was. And he basically is doing all that stuff. He's like, going, oh, oh, man, she's so hot. Oh, God, you know, the <laughs> wolf whistle and the hearts and eyes and all that other stuff and everything floating on around it, you know, and then he transforms into uh, so a character who's like, ooh, baby, that's what I like, and I'm like, you know, and he's like, transforms back, and I'm like, okay, whatever, and then she sees another guy, I don't know, turns out he is a werewolf, okay, when he's a normal form of a wolf, he's like nerdy and gaunt, you know, very gangly. But then he turns into a werewolf. He gets beefy and strong. And she saw that, and she started freaking out, <laughs> doing the same thing he was doing earlier. And I'm like, heck yes. <laughs> she was going off on it like that, getting all the hearts and everything. And then she transformed. Only oh, got the suit, got on uh, the same suit that he had, a pinstripe suit. <laughs> oh baby, that's what I like. I'm like, heck yes. <laughs> you don't see that often. You don't see the woman, <laughs> the female, going like, heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see that often in a cartoon. I don't know. You've seen the dude doing it all the time, but you don't see the girl doing it. I'm like, that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, cartoon. Mm, it's cartoony. Mm, continue. Um, where are we? All right. Um, e rating. Um, additional for story for the catchphrase. Next is Batman the Animated Series. This one will get E rated T. The violence is more realistic than an E rated video. But there is little to no blood. The language is coarser, but there are minimal. <laughs> cuss words and those are those that are there are minor sexually suggestive content involves the tight fitting outfits like for superheroes but all private parts are covered affection includes handling hugs and light kissing couples can be shown going out on dates and hanging out in each other's homes talk of dating is also allowed as long as it does not involve describing sexual acts this rule and others like it will be very important for later then there's the fist of the north star this anime would be earn an m rating in my system because it just takes everything to the most extreme. At least I think it does. I've never really seen it. <laughs> I've seen clips. I've seen clips, and that's pretty. Okay, okay. Because uh, I don't care about uh, things like that that are super violent. And... <laughs> no, no. But uh, I've seen enough to know uh, it's super violent. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thank you, um, Anime Abandoned. Thank, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. What's next? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Uh, I think it does. Violence includes. Uh... Oh, yeah. At least I think it does. Violence includes blood and gore, martial arts moves, martial arts moves <laughs> that can make people explode and genocide. Mm, oh yeah, and I saw some of the clips of uh, the live action Fist of the North Star, not as violent as the anime, but still, there was genocide. The whole town gets wiped out by like, the, the Southern Cross and his, and his goons, you know, so yeah. So there you go. Course language include could include all customers used multiple times and very descriptive instructions on what they want you to do with yourself and what they want to do to you. Sexually subjective content is rampant and includes topless women and mostly naked men. Genitals are most likely banned by the old YouTube guidelines, but in Fist of the North Star, there is a scene where North Star and a lady are in bed together. She obviously wants to do some things with, with him, but he lets her know that he is not in the mood. And that's some domestic violence in, in an animated video. <laughs> That's not for kids. Heck, that's not for anybody. But according to the current guidelines, it's attractive to children, <clears throat> aka made for kids, and that is not okay. Next is all the YouTube channels that use animation in their videos. Now, but before next, before that, uh, I put a side note here that says, also note 
Not all anime is like this. There are ones for kids and ones for families too. <laughs> for families too. <laughs> I mean, that's true. Like, I forgot to say that. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Not all anime are like that. <laughs> you know, not like, oh, no, 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 no. You ever seen My Neighbor Totoro? <laughs> you know, no, no, it's all good. <laughs> you know, actually, it's like uh, you have, um, say, uh, Hamtaro. My Neighbor Totoro, <laughs> and then Fist of the North Star, something like that, you know, you have those three, because basically, it's like, Hamtaro is made for, is very, very much made for children of all ages, you know, nothing really great, bad happens, the worst thing is, of course, someone steals something from someone else, and they have to chase it, and find it, and you know, things like that, it's usually pretty, uh, cartoony, not very violent at all, then you have My Neighbor Totoro, now, My Neighbor Totoro is definitely more family viewing, not necessarily for little kids, because there is a, see, there is parts where, the, first of all, the mom, it's sick, mm, all right. The mom is sick, and is it has a long term illness going on, and the the kids are do, are worried about it, mm, freaking out about it, and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, that's that's definitely a little uh, more uh, older stuff. That's that's definitely you know, little kids might not understand what's going on, or they may just be sad for this thing. I'm sick of being sad because oh my gosh, you know, uh, uh, you know, someone older, like a teen or adult, would know mm, yeah, their mom's sick. We they're freaking out about that, you know. Then. You know, and then of course it was the scene where the young the young girl May was uh, lost for a while. You know, they thought she was for a little, for a little while. They thought she was dead. So like that. it's a little bit uh, definitely more grown up. And then of course there's the North Star with all this crazy, nasty, jacked up stuff is uh, definitely a mature rated stuff. It's not it's not good. But no, the anime can be just about anything. Just like animation. <clears throat> okay. Speaking of which. Yeah. Next is all the YouTube channels that use animation in their videos. Sure, there are ones that are messed up. Oh, there are. Mm, I see that. Mm. I'm not gonna name them because uh, I don't want any publicity for those guys. Mm, you know, so yeah, you know, forget that stuff. Uh, continue on. But there are lots of good ones too. And while their animations can be family friendly, the things they talk about can be meant for a more mature audience. Suzy talks about the effects of alcohol, be alcoholic beverages, and how a girl was trying to take advantage of him. Mm. Illumasia talks about the time she was sexually harassed at work, and Alex Clark talks about how he was dating one girl and then fell for her roommate. This stuff is not made for kids. It's made for people around the same age as the creators. They need that middle rating so they can talk about things adults can relate to in some videos, and what everyone can relate to in others. And I need it too. I draw comics, and I enjoy making sprite sheets of my characters so I can animate them with Mugen. I also like to play RPGs with cute animated characters in them, some of which mm, can be violent <laughs> and show blood. <clears throat> yeah, Sorrow's just like a story. There's a, there's a scene, you know, of that, you know, basically when Rina tells Claude about Deus's, you know, what happened with Deus, this tragedy that happened with Deus, uh, you know, they, they have a, the, the back, the flashback scene. Bandits mm, attacked their family, you know, killed Deus's family, including his little sister. Okay, they tried to kill Deus too, and you see that you know, they fall down. You know, see these little cute little characters. You know, this kid with little sister. You know, the, the bandit runs up to her. You know, basically, comes up. It's not really that well. And you know, it's not basically. It's very, very. The animation is basically the uh, art style is very, very uh, cutesy. All right, it's very cutesy. Very chibi. You can't even see their their noses or mouths. All right, in these characters, but you can see that there's a bandit. A guy dresses a bandit, runs up to this kid, you know, and then the girl falls over. You hear a noise, you know, uh, like someone getting hit. And then you see her fall over, you know, and then you see blood pool around her. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, she dead. She dying. She got she got killed. She got stabbed. You know, she got stabbed. And then you know you see him in a pool of blood too as a little kid you know going like oh my gosh my family no you know and then that's how he basically became a uh, cross between batman and shoshomaru from inuyasha there you know and also a little bit of uh, will turner because basically it's like yeah they, they just basically got to the point where he's like yeah i practice three hours a day so if i see a bandit i can kill it <laughs> you know basically that's basically how it works and so i'm like yeah no this is uh, not for the little children this is not something made for little kids this is made for you know different audio for adults for for teenagers for people who are like uh, okay i've seen this stuff before you know not little children who are just like oh, you know that could be traumatized or look like they could get traumatized because then it's like yeah people who are like against any violence at all see this and be like oh my gosh oh my gosh that, 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 that's horrible you know i'm like yeah it is <laughs> it's it's but it's what happened in this story you know that's the issue we need that wiggle room continue on let's see here Anime character. I was like, play RPGs, cute anime characters in them. That animation is considered attractive to children. I'm going for a while. I'm going for a while here. Mm. Active to children. And so are video games. And that is not right. Especially, especially since I talk about things like transgenderism and the ongoing debates I have, I'm having with people who are trying to defend it. 
That is not made for kids. <laughs> I do not cuss, but I will say things like, this man, I mean this person with a penis and testicles, mm, born with a penis and testicles, mm, or this person, woman, I mean this person born with a vagina and ovaries, mm, you know, my dialogue is not made for kids. Mm. It's made for people who are old enough to be considering contemplating whether this is the right path in life. Unfortunately, that age is going down, but the point still stands. My stuff is in the T to M zone, and we need that wiggle room. I like wiggle room. <laughs> wiggle room. People are getting that wiggle room so people won't be getting surprised with the content in the videos. Now, you may be asking, how can we implement this system? Mm. Well, I'll show you. Like I said earlier, I like the foundation you have got going on here. The sis, this system, the system where you have to answer a question before you can upload videos is awesome. And so is the opportunity option to set your whole channel to a rating. The problem is that the rating system is the rating system itself, themselves. The ratings themselves. Instead of asking whether a video is made for kids or not made for kids, there will be three multiple choice and questions. First, how much violence is in your video? The choices will be little to none, more cartoony, some mostly bloodless martial arts, and not a, you know, a lot and a lot bloody and gory. Secondly, how much how much coarse language is in your video? The choices will be little to none, cartoony, some minor cuss words, and a lot major ones included. Third, how much sexually suggestive material is in your video? Choices will be first base cartoony, second base no bedroom action, and third base bedroom action abounds, <laughs> or something like that. Yes, there will be more questions than the current system, but they will help us compromise with the new guidelines. Also, yes, there will be three ratings for videos, but all videos will be treated exactly the same. <laughs> All will be able to receive comments unless the, re unless the feature is disabled by the uploader. All videos will have notifications enabled unless it is disabled by the uploader. And all videos will have ads and monetization unless they violate the YouTube, the YouTube guidelines. Yes, personalized ads are what caused the problem in the first place. But with this new rating system, you won't have to worry about that because the ads will not be tailored to an individual person. They will be tailored to the rating. For example, an E-rated video will be more likely excuse me, gotta change majors, to have kids watching. So ad, your ads about toys and other kids-centric things will work well here. The T-rating videos will have also will have ads for anti-smoking and acne cream and other stuff like that. The M-rating videos could have car ads, house ads, and other more grown-up things in them because grown-ups are more likely to watch those and watch those. And if a kid watches an M-rated video and is traumatized by what he or she sees, then that's their fault. They saw the rating right. <laughs> to sum things up, you guys have a great foundation foundation system here. <laughs> but you must improve it to make it better for us creators to use. <laughs> the way it is now will cause several creators to leave YouTube to find better options, and they will take their popularity with them. I would watch almost any ad if I knew that a Swoozy video was going to play after it. I will gladly go to whatever website he decides to go post videos on to watch them. Mm. And he is just one of the many amazing YouTubers that use animation in their videos mm. to tell their stories. Mm. I will gladly watch a channel, uh, watch a channel, watch almost any ad if I knew an Arlo or Ghost Robo video was going to play after that. And those guys are just a few of the many YouTubers that use footage of video games in their videos. You must change the system because you need people like them creating videos on your website. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to draw, go draw some more comic book pages and Mugen animation and make more videos of me playing Star Wars and Second Story. See you next time on YouTube and DeviantArt. All right, that's the end of that. But that's the issue. We need to work on that stuff because that stuff is causing huge problems. My gosh, uh, yeah, that is definitely, yeah, the people are saying in the comments, and it's true, you know, this could destroy YouTube because, of course, you're coming after the creators of the videos, all right, directly. The creators of the videos basically are what generate views. You need creators, okay? And by getting rid of, they're saying animation is for children, basically attractive to children, aka for children, you're basically, um, you know, and then it's like you see someone who says, oh, my son, this stuff not for kids, you know, but it's like, hey, you have this thing that's for children, <laughs> attracted to children, aka for children, in here, you lied, <laughs> you know, you're going to get fined, you know, and it's like, yeah, um, 
They're like, okay, fine, I'm, I'm out, I'm, I'm leaving. You know, you will lose money. <laughs> they will lose cash, billions of dollars. Not you know that that million, little millions of dollars was not. You know, you lose billions because here's the deal: if no one's watching your channel, no one's watching your website, videos on your website, then no one's watching your ads. <clears throat> no one's watching your ads. No one's buying your stuff. No ad revenue. <clears throat> no ad revenue. That's the issue. You need creators of all kinds for children for teenagers and for adults, all of them. Stuff that's animated and live action. Stuff that's video games and live action, <laughs> you know, you know. Stuff that's movies, <clears throat> stuff that's music, okay? Stuff, all kinds of stuff. You guys need all of it, <clears throat> all right? And you know, the rating system, this rating system, like the ESRB has, uh, E, T, and M will help out <clears throat> because it will basically make things, not, you know, we'll, we'll obey COPPA, and it will you know, let creators do stuff, you know, have more, more wiggle room to do some more stuff so that they can actually make some good stuff that people will watch. And while they're watching that good stuff, you can have your ads play and they'll be a little more likely to see those ads and buy that stuff that you're trying to sell and you'll advertise. You'll get more money that way. You know, you know if you're talking about money, if you're talking about money, you know, make this three, three, make this three, you know, pro, you know style rating system, E, T, and M happen. As soon as possible, because you will have more creators to work with, more videos to uh, they'll go on your site. More videos go on your site means more ads can play, you know, and more people will see those ads. Okay, you will make billions. You will recuperate those losses that you had because of the settlement. Mm -hmm. All right, that's what you need to do. You know, you stick this thing the way it is. You will lose everything. Mm -hmm. You will lose your money. You will lose your stuff. People are going to leave, and that's how it goes. You know, basically, they're saying YouTube could be destroyed. It is true if you stay with this rating. Mm -hmm. you stay with this two system. There's two rating system. It's not good enough. Mm -hmm. So, see you guys next time. Check me out on YouTube and even art. I gotta go work on some stuff. I gotta wash some dishes. I gotta clean my room. I'm almost really wanting to clean my room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's looking a little well, gnarly there. Mm -hmm. You know, a little naughty for me is uh you no know, really messed up for my mom but that's okay yeah yeah so i'm gonna get started on that and figure that out and i'll see you guys next time check me out on youtube demon art uh watch out for mean comments you know in debate with people about transgender issues and all kinds of stuff like that so we'll deal with that and i'll see you guys next time oh it's uh not uh on the computer it's on the tablet there we go